welcome back to my channel um it's been a lot going on in what recently so i want to give you guys the fastest way to get your tillman up um whether you guys need them for online games or just like to have a 95 overall on your team it's probably still the best card as of today that i make this video um but basically what you're gonna want to do is just go to solo battles and put it on the lowest difficulty now there's a few ways you can do this um depending on what you need so right now for this video i'm going to show you guys that i need russian yards so i need about i'd say ten thousand russian yards to complete my pat tillman and about a hundred maybe 70 to a hundred uh, more touchdowns for Russian yards so what I'm doing is it's a lot different than what everybody else is doing people are saying you know you can go play challenges and yeah you know I see the point of that but I also like to get a huge chunk of yard in one game so I don't like going exiting out of games and starting new game just to get yards like I don't like that so Basically, you know, I need my yard, so I'm when, when I'm getting a punt return, I'm running all the way back to the five yard line and I'm running it back in, as you just saw. Um, so this method works for me. Um, I should be a, around, let's say, 10,000 yards by the end of this week after all these solos. Um, I lost one because I got disconnected, but, um, you know, this is something that you guys can consider, you know, um, of doing, I think that it's very beneficial if you don't already have Pat Tillman. Um, but if you already have them, um, this method may not be the best for you, but also I would re also recommend you put it on the lowest difficulty in solo battles is because if you're trying to level up your levels, um, online battles really don't give you too much, you know, um, if you get a rage quit, you don't get the rewards that, or the experience boost that you normally get. So I still recommend you do it on the lowest difficulty in solo battles. If you're trying to, um, get Pat Tillman, um, as you can see there, I try to pick it up with Dawkins and run it all the way back to my five yard line, but I wasn't able to do that. That's okay. So I'm just going to have to take the touchdown here, which is no big deal, obviously. I still want them. So all of my touchdowns as of this video are all rushing touchdowns. I have not thrown the ball once with Mahomes. Um, for me, I don't like rushing the ball, but it's very meta this year. So I'm still learning on how to run. Um, and the reason why guys, I couldn't give you guys valuable content you know, from 19 is because I'm not really good this year. Um, and this was one of the first things that I found out that worked for me that could help all of you guys. So obviously, you know, we're trying to help each other and stuff like that. So this is what like videos on my channel is mainly going to be about this year. Cause you know, I'm not top 50 in weekend league this year or top 25 anymore. So, cause the game just changed so much. Like, um, I don't understand why zones don't play the way they do, but you know, we're not here to discuss that. So we're discussing Pat Tillman. So Pat Tillman, depending on your play style, some of you guys already have rushing yards. So you can use this method and get a quarterback with, I don't know, like all the abilities and get two wide receivers with the abilities um, and an X factor just to get your yards. Um, if you put, for if you need receiving yards i would recommend you get slot apprentice and outside apprentice on two receivers and get your quarterback with some abilities that give you long uh, deep range dead eye or something like that um so you can just bomb covers in for one play um also saves you a lot of time getting uh receiving yards from the computer is very easy um but in ultimate team it's very hard so right there i wasn't supposed to break that at all but i just got a free one so yeah um most of the time you'll be 
finding yourself playing defense more than offense if you're getting rushing yards because usually these are just like one run touchdowns um so yeah i i really don't have too much more to say but i think this is the best method um i also think that if you want to complete the reason why I say that everybody should complete Pat Tillman, like I'm not going into another game until I have 95 overall Pat Tillman. Um, the reason why is because he's one of the only players with Enforcer. Now with 91 speed and 91 hit power, Enforcer, if you, some, for some of you guys that don't know what it does, is that it gives you automatic hit sticks when you're in within a striking distance. So like right there, if I were to user Pat Tillman and I clicked off of him, so I'm not usering Pat Tillman, he will give you give you a uh, hit stick animation automatically. And with 91 hit power, that's what you need this year to stop runners. Um, for some of you guys that don't know, um, runners this year are really really it's like the meta this year. Um, last year was most basically passing because. Aggressive catches would land a lot of things. High balls would land a lot of things. So um, you basically got your way with um, throwing the ball and run, run game was just terrible. Now, because this is my second Madden, I haven't experienced a really run heavy game of Madden before. So um, therefore I'm adjusting. <laughs> I don't know too much as of today, but you know, I'm trying to, again, I'm, this is just an informative video on how you can get your Pat Tillman to the highest. Now, I'm looking for ways to um, do better in the pass game and the run game. But right now, my playbook that I'm using is the Rams. Um, my Saints playbook doesn't work this year. So the way that the game works today, I mean this year is just different you know um wow Gurley's really good but this is on the rookie difficulty so i can't get too excited about anything like that um so yeah we're just gonna look at my uh yards that i have gained from this game this is only halfway to the game i hope i didn't keep you guys too long but i'm yeah i'm just gonna show you um how much yards i got so i got 883 rushing yards in this one game now, if you do the math, if I can average around 800 yards, that is about 10 games to 8,000. And then, so you have 13 games a week in solos. So you can roughly get about, let's see. 10,400, 104,000 yards. Does that sound right? No, 10,400 yards. Yeah, sorry. My math is off, but 10,400 yards. Um, but also like, you know, as I mentioned before, this method is also really good for the level up master. Um, you need Tori Hole at 92. So some of you guys that need it, um, I still haven't gotten mine because I'm still at level 53, but I found this method really helpful. You might have to sacrifice a week of rewards, um, but I think it's really worth it. Some of you guys that can try it can let me know. Um, obviously, you know, if you got what you need, go put it on legendary and get as many rewards as you can. But I think this is the best way to get rewards. So right now, um, I don't have Pat Tillman. I need Pat Tillman. So I'm doing everything in my will to get Pat Tillman. You also get a 250,000 quick sell for Pat Tillman once you completed his um, stats. So yeah, I'm about 10,000 yards short right now. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. I will bring you more videos shortly.